I wanted to address a story that was printed just a couple of days ago where folks were alluding to some dispute that I allegedly had with my colleague at ESPN, Mr. Pat McAfee. So it's looking like Stephen A. Smith colleagues are calling him out yet again, guys. Remember, we just did a video covering how Stephen A. Smith colleagues on ESPN Monday Night Football, they had called him out and said that they don't want him covering Monday Night Football. They don't want Stephen A. Smith over there. They don't want the first take antics coming over there for Monday Night Football. Stephen A. Smith bringing his personality over there. They just do not want that. So, you know, Stephen A. Smith, he is trying to have a lot of leverage when it comes to renegotiating his contract. He wants to be paid more than Pat McAfee. And I think he's also going to try to put in other stuff in his contract as well, like having more football coverage and to go on other shows at ESPN. Because in my opinion, Stephen A. Smith is really trying to pump his chest out and be the top guy at ESPN because he knows when he gets that big contract, he's going to have more leverage and more pool to do whatever he wants, right? And if you guys don't know, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, he signed a four-year, $240 million contract, and that's also including an $80 million signing bonus. $231 million guarantee and an average annual salary of $60 million. So Stephen A. Smith compared himself to Dak Prescott's contract. Let's check out that clip right here. Your ESPN contract yes, sir. is what we're told up next year. And the word on the street is that you want something in the range of $100 million mm. for five years. Right. True. I'm not getting specific as it pertains to numbers because only a fool discusses his own negotiations while negotiating. I would ask respectfully, pay attention to the industry, see what people are getting paid, see how much money they're making and what they're bringing to the table. Dak Prescott just signed a contract for two hundred and forty million dollars. He's making 60 million a year. He made sure to get. I know he's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys who has won two playoff games in eight years. I've been number one for 12. I'm sorry. In our respective industries, I win. And I'm fully aware of what I'm worth. And I will never apologize to that for anybody. Okay, so the reason why I want to show that, guys, is because that clip has been going viral. And I think that's the reason why Stephen A. Smith colleagues are calling him Mr. Greedy. So let's get into this report. And then I'll be right back with some more commentary, guys. So let's check out this report. Stephen A. Smith colleagues calling him Mr. Greedy over his contract negotiations with ESPN. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. Okay, so we got an article from the U.S. Sun, and they said that Mr. Greedy, Stephen A. Smith, nicknamed Mr. Greedy over ESPN contract demands after first take star rejects huge offer. First Take employees have invented a new nickname for Stephen A. Smith amid his contract negotiations. Stephen A. is seeking a massive contract extension with ESPN, but his quest is irking some members behind the scenes. Employees on First Take have shared that the growing attention on Stephen A.'s contract situation is concerning for those on the team. One person on the show explained that they felt Stephen A.'s greed could cause the show's budget to inflate out of control. The situation about Stephen A. Smith bringing tons of attention to a salary request and the fact that he wants to be the most paid guy on TV and ask for $25 million per year adds a lot of attention to the team. To the journalists who aren't on his small circle, King's Court, and on the crew, as it will literally explode the budget of the show, a journalist on the show told the U.S. Sun. Him going to do an interview and public appearances in ton of places and events so often, speaking about himself and his request so often is seen as him campaigning for himself. The Stephen A. Smith circus on tour, as we call it now between us, as it is getting pretty ridiculous and a lot of people are very mad at him and pissed. A lot of us are scared that those requests will push ESPN to cut costs in order to give him his money. And that many of us and people from the crew will get fired, get rid of when a decision will be made. The source further emphasized that they felt Stephen A's earning a large chunk of the show's budget could put people's jobs at risk. Members of the show also invented a new nickname for Stephen A, Mr. Greed. 
to mock his pursuit of a $25 million per year contract. Okay, so that's the U.S. Sun reporting on some issues with First Take. The producers and the team and the people that work behind the scenes got some issues with Stephen A. Smith constantly talking about his contract negotiation with ESPN that's coming up pretty soon. And with Stephen A. Smith asking for $25 million a year, that just puts their job at risk. Everybody knows that's how ESPN operates. We saw this happen with Pat McAfee before ESPN signed Pat McAfee over there. They got rid of a lot of people like Jalen Rose, Michael Irvin. They had cut a few shows like the J. Will, Keyshawn Johnson, and Max Kellerman show. They had cut that show, shelved Max Kellerman, got rid of Keyshawn Johnson, and they made a lot of other changes as well, guys. So that's it for today's video, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video. So don't forget to get in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Catch you guys on the next one. And we out, guys. Peace.